Hey, what is going on, family? I am ready to do <laughs> this Sunday video. Uh, just give you guys a quick little update. I have been absolutely uh, sick for the past like three days. On Thursday, I had like a minor cough. Wasn't feeling the best. Uh, Friday, I went into work and I knew I was feeling really bad. And then I ended up having to leave probably four hours into my shift yesterday and the rest of Friday. And then also today, I've just been kind of in recovery mode. Uh, not feeling the best, but, you know, um, I am feeling a lot better and I've been, you know, doing the things I need to be doing, drinking a lot of fluids, you know, taking vitamins, Theraflu, whatever people have been telling me to do and praying that I get better. And, uh, but I still want to do this video and, uh, and do the things that I say I was gonna, I'm going to do, right? I said every Wednesday and every Sunday, I want to come on here and talk with you guys and, and be able to read the daily devotional and give you guys some light into your day and some motivation. And today is an absolute beautiful day. I'm, I'm super ashamed that I can't get outside and really enjoy it because I'm just trying to make sure anything I do doesn't compromise my health any more than it already is because I got to go back into work tomorrow and finish up the rest of the, this month even though technically uh, tomorrow is the first day of the new month. But you know, uh, I'm super excited for this video. I read this read earlier with my buddy Shane and uh, it was actually a pretty good one so I, I really enjoy it. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. Uh, if I sound hilarious and my nose is all congested, uh, it's because it is. So if I sound like Squidward and you guys want to make fun of me, I don't care, please do. Uh, but go ahead and like and subscribe to my videos and page if you haven't already. Drop some comments in below. Let me know what you guys would like to hear if there's anything else uh, that you might think will, will help you guys out uh, or help me out to get better. Uh, the biggest thing I, w I want to do for you guys is just, just to bring motivation for y'all and uh, help you guys out in any which way I can. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So today is April the 30th and today's read is the potential myth. It says, how many kids say someday I want to grow up and be the vice president of the United States? Probably none. If a child has political aspirations, he wants to be the president. If she has a bent toward business, she wants to be a company owner or CEO. Few people aspire to reach the middle, yet the reality is that most people will never be the top leader in an organization. They will spend their careers somewhere in the middle. Is that okay, or should everybody play career king of the hill and try to reach the top? I believe that people should strive to, for the top of their game, not the top of their organization. An excellent example of this is Vice President Dick Cheney. He has enjoyed a remarkable career in politics, White House Chief, uh, Chief of Staff to President Gerald Ford, six-term congressman from Wyoming, a Secretary of Defense to President George H.W. Bush, and Vice President to the second President Bush. He possesses all the credentials one would need to run for President of the United States, yet he knows at the top, uh, that the top position is not his best role. Mary Kay Hill, a longtime aide to the former Wyoming Senator Alan Simpson, who worked with Cheney on Capitol Hill, said, You plug him in and he works anywhere. He just has a real good way of fitting in and working in his environment. Cheney appears to be an excellent example of a 360 degree leader, someone who knows how to influence others from whatever position he finds himself in. The 360 degree leader. Learn to influence others from wherever you are in your organization. So, like, for me, this one just speaks loud and clear that. You don't have to have a title to be a leader, right? To be a leader is all about your level of influence. And John Maxwell talks about this in a lot of his books, right? Not only in his Daily Reader, but the 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership, right? The, the level of leadership that you have and, or may possess is all about the influence you have to be able to give to others. So this is, just speaks volumes. Like when I worked with the Hendrick Automotive Group, we had a salesperson, Sharon Hester, uh, and she was at the top of her game, but she knew she didn't have to be a manager to be a leader and she was a leader and everybody looked up to her and still looks up to her to this day. I know she has great qualities of what she possessed just as a salesperson to be able to lead and, and influence others. She influenced me when I was with that group and things that I, I still carry with myself today, I learned from her. And then it, it doesn't matter what position you're in, you could be a, le a leader wherever, right? So just just remember that you know you want to be at the top of your game. You don't have to be you know the top of the leaderboard. You don't have to you know be the general manager, the CEO to have a level of influence that will that will truly make an impact on other people's lives. Um, you know, like my brother-in-law has had all the positions you can imagine in the car business, and he always tells me he, you know you don't have to have the title to be a leader, and that and that's just that. And I don't I don't really want to deep dive into this as much because I mean it's just simple, right? achieve the top of your game the best of your uh, abilities and reach your potential so that way your level of influence uh you know speaks volumes to other people right you know 
I want to have a great level of influence for you guys in terms of motivation and, and how I go about my business and lead others, right? I always want to be a leader, not a follower, but you know, in order to be a great leader, you have to be a great follower eventually. So just understand that as well. Uh, but your, your level of influence can speak volumes no matter what position you are. If you're just starting out in, in a career, but you, you, you know, already possess great qualities of a leader, understand that and just grow within those things and reach your true potential, you know, run your own race. I think a lot of these, you know, coincide with each other. Um, so just remember those things, you know, uh, this is a great read. I mean, if, if you don't already understand this and you're, you're a title guy, you know, I, I, I'm a title guy in, in, you know, every shape or form sometimes, you know. I understand that like I want to grow vertically within an organization and I do want to be at the top of the list because you know it, I guess in my mind it's just justification that if I do have the the top position maybe my influence will be more but I have a lot of role models and mentors like my brother-in-law who tell me all the time you can have the same level of influence as a finance manager as you can a general manager as a, a, at the dealership so I just have to like really humble myself and and kind of ground myself every day and understand that because you know, you know, I bring guys and, and ladies into my office all the time, and you know, I just try to to help them understand like where their potential is, and you know where they could be, you know what they could do to get better every single day, and how can I help them, right? You know, the the biggest thing in your level of influence is how much you're willing to go out and help other people and, and show them that you are, right? So you know, and and there there's a lot of of people, especially in my industry, who don't want that. They have this. You know, they have all this knowledge, but they want to hold it to themselves. If I have a lot of knowledge and I don't pay it forward or pass it along, uh, you know, that's just the wrong way to do things. I want somebody to come take my job. I tell them all the time to come take my job so that way I can get the next one. Because if somebody comes to take my job, it won't be because of my inability to do my job. It will be because they have learned enough and they have outgrown their shell in the position they are currently in to take my job. You know, but that's the level of influence I want to have on other people and. And that's the biggest thing for me is just is helping other people grow and, and, and being a leader that way and having my level of influence lead others that way. And, and not only will that help them grow, but it'll help me grow because if they're winning, I'm winning. And I get the biggest satisfaction out of watch, not out of like my, um, my own, how, what am I trying to say? I get the biggest satisfaction when I watch other people utilize the, the methods of what I've taught them and it actually works for their own benefit. Right, not for my benefit, for their own benefit. I get more out of that and watching them win and succeed. That means more to me than me getting a deal, me, you know, uh, having a great deal, doing a great job that day. Understanding that I possess the the ability to teach somebody great, uh, great techniques and great methods and great processes in order to win and grow themselves within their own position, and understanding that I have been in their shoes and, and putting myself back in their shoes to help them succeed. Um, but that's pretty much it. Short, short uh, read, but a good one. All in all, I, I'm not going to be on here too long, like I said, because I'm sick. I, I still have uh, been disinfecting my apartment all day long. But, you know, I appreciate it. Love you guys all. Uh, please, like I said, go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment below. Let me know if there's anything you guys want to see. Uh, oh, one big announcement. I am going to start 75 Hard again tomorrow. Uh, this is just something that's been kind of rattling through my brain. I'm going to do it again and uh get that going i think mentally i just need to do it for myself and it's going to be a little bit more of a challenge than it was last time because last time i i didn't work the the job that i had now so this is going to be a, a good test for me a good test for my mental uh mental game and um, i'm excited for it so 75 hard starts tomorrow uh, i'll keep you guys updated on that but be on the lookout for wednesday's video and i'll see you guys on wednesday